Hey guys, Moose here. We are back with more RimWorld, and I am in the process of getting fucked by boom rats. Not sure what we're gonna do here. It's going to be difficult to say the least. Uh, we may want to just hang out inside and try to wait for them to go. May not have a better option here. Let's select something to research, though. Don't think we really need geothermal power just yet. Smithing wouldn't hurt, but we don't really need that. I don't think that's what lets us disassemble the mechs, which is what we'd like to be able to do. Hydroponics sucks, but we're almost done with it. Um, I don't know, I guess like maybe... Maybe that's what we want anyway. Geothermal or hydroponics? Let's just do hydroponics and then get it over with. It's better than nothing, right? I'm really concerned about food because if the boom rats don't leave soon, we're just not going to have anything to eat. That's going to be a big issue. I'm not sure if I see an out though. I mean, if they go to sleep, we might be able to do something. Hope well, one of them's sleeping, but I don't know if the other ones are gonna. Here we go. Just good time for Shaper anyway. I think we may want her to have a rifle though. For this. This one's gonna wake up by the time the other ones fall asleep, I feel. Come on, there's four of you still need to go to bed. Three. What is this one doing? It's just running away. All right, two, one, I guess. Oh, lovely, all right. Hey guys, you're gonna have some real fun when you get to my base. <laughs> Daytime, they're already waking up again. All right, well, I'm down to 17 food. Shaper, come on down. Back in we go. One's dead and that's all we managed. The rest are mostly going down that way. Nope. You guys are absolutely staying inside. Shaper, get inside. You can go... Yeah, eating's fine. Really, you guys didn't fight any of them. Here we go, here we go. Can you kill that one? This is safe, I think. Problem is, all their corpses burned up too, so this is even worse. I can't believe they're not hitting this thing. Go trade. Maybe they'll have food. They have two fine meals. Alright. Better than nothing. No components, no medicine. Rocket launcher, minigun. Pretty shitty if you ask me. I think I'll sell none of our weapons because we don't have that many right now. We don't really have much of anything at the moment. So I'll just buy some stuff and go from there. Two fine meals is acceptable. Put out the fire, take the meat. There we go. Oh man. Well, we got through that mess. That's surprising. Yep, critical alert fire. Oh no, the visitors are leaving. Alright, yeah, see if I care. I feel like I should be digging more, but I don't really see the point. I think if there's a point, it would be... Oh, moisture pump is probably going to be the next move. 
Because we want to, we, we, we need this land, basically. And we want to move this stuff over around here, probably back this way. Ah, oh, jeez. We are not having a fantastic time. Start getting rid of some of these graves, though. Hydroponics, all right, research screen. Let's get the water pump, moisture pump. Never used one of those before. It'll be interesting to try. Oh, look, preserved bodies. These guys are new. Couple skeletons, too. Go ahead and incinerate them. Nice thunderstorm going on. You know, I really miss thunderstorms. I would absolutely love to live in an area that had thunderstorms and generally just rain. Uh... I know that may sound stupid, and I know there's power outages associated with that, and that'd be very frustrating, but, like, I love the rain. I love... There's nothing that I enjoy more than, like, time off, vacation, or even just a weekend. This is nice, overcast day. Still a little light outside, but definitely overcast, definitely cold, where I can just sit in at home, like, cook a really big meal, like a like a Thanksgiving dinner, something legit, not just like, all right, well, I'm going to go make macaroni and cheese and have a lot of windows in my home and be able to watch it rain outside, preferably around a forest or some kind of very green landscape. And it's just absolutely beautiful to me. I love that. It'd be fantastic to like live in the mountains up by, up in Washington or Oregon and have it rain a whole bunch and be up there just relaxing in the, in the uh, mountains with a cabin and seeing all the trees around me It'd be beautiful if we ever if we get to the point where in you know satellite internet or some they run the cables out far enough that i'll have good internet then i would absolutely absolutely love to live up there but right now it doesn't really make sense for my lifestyle or what i want to do with my life which is working well, it's not really what I want to do with my life, but it's what's his, what I'm obligated to do if I'm interested in having a, the lifestyle that I would like to have, which involves some nice things like a good computer, good internet, television to watch Sharks games, things like that. Cost money, which doesn't grow on trees, as the saying goes. All right, where well, our plants are finally getting in here now that it's 14th of spring. Just had to deal with that cold snap, and then the boom rats kind of preventing access to our crops here, but hopefully these will grow out. We're going to need something more in the short term, though. So we're going to come murder something. I know Shaper was sleeping, but she was probably about to get up anyway, so this is acceptable. We're going to still be using the survival rifle. I could have switched over the shotgun, but I don't really care that much. I think the survival rifle is perfectly functional. We're fine. She doesn't need food, so... We are officially out of food, so this needs to happen, like, right now. Don't run away. Shaper, kill it. Oh, come on. You're more than capable of ending this thing's life, so let's get on with it. It's quite large. Did you, like, die already? Why is Shaper... Are you too close? Keep killing it. Your aim is, like, unforgivably bad right now, and I don't know why some berries down here too so <laughs> none of them that I can do anything with fantastic there's like a fuck ton of bushes down here and they all have the red dots but they're not ready to harvest that is a damn shame all right Philly's gonna get the food so people are gonna be really hungry right now but food is coming they'll probably eat one meal's worth of raw food and then we'll move on from there so why is no one doing this what does this require Minimum skills, none. It's crafting, right? So... I 
Okay, someone Bud's doing it. All right, that's good. We want to get all that steel back. Okay, Shaper's sleeping. Food's being cooked. We don't have very much of it, but it's, you know... It'll do us for now, and then we'll go kill a bunch more shortly. You're starving. Well, why don't you go eat? Just because you're tired doesn't mean you should go to bed without eating. There was totally food to eat. Actually, there probably wasn't because she came home right after killing the Megatherium. Oh well. Forget what I said. See, you're not starving now. You're just tired. Which is fine. Life goes on. But you're getting ha you're becoming more happy, which is the important factor here. Do I want to make an airlock here? I think an airlock would be effective. Uh, just in case, you know. There we go. Just to be safe, an extra door so that if things break through, they have to get through another door. Also controls temperature a little bit. Should probably maybe make an airlock here too, but eh, I don't really care. Not overly concerned by it, to be honest. Summer. The plants are getting very thoroughly watered as the rain comes down. Shaper, though, you are going to... What are you doing right now? Oh, you're bringing a sniper rifle home. That's cool. Kind of don't need it, but... Better than nothing. Let's get your shotgun, though. I'm going to use that to murder some animals. Then you can go eat, and then after you finish doing that, I'm going to draft you, and you're going to come murder kill these suckers. Come on down with your messed up tibia. Shattered tibia. This must be incredibly painful. She's really happy now, too. You got happy real quick. Uh, makes sense. Really? Again? And Shaper's out? Alright, well, at least this is a relatively small one. It's not fucking up my home. Okay, let's slow down time here. Nice miss, Shaper. That's not going to cut it. Uh, Shaper dies here. We're royally fucked. Okay, she's got cuts. Noth no new limbs lost. Um, Yoko, could you, like, maybe do something about this? And a plasteel knife, yeah. Alright. Christian, save your wife. We're gonna need her. Kill that, it's bleeding. Uh maybe kill the the hive for now. kill the spider. That is the one that's bleeding. Yoko's fucked. Alright. Could you just die, though? You can shoot. Well, convenient. Why don't you pick up the pump action ch What are you doing? Just run away. We're going to have to game this if we're going to win. At least people will probably heal okay. I'm not that worried about that. Could you, like, hit the target, though, please, instead of all of our furniture? There you go. 
One more shot. Alright, back in. I mean, they're getting kind of fucked up, but that's not good enough. And they're gonna break that door down eventually. Come on, lose interest. Rescue Yoko, if you don't mind. Alright, there's one. Kill the hive. Yeah, but you should rest. Okay, no. Well, oh, no, you're coming. Oh shit. Alright. Run, Philly. You can make it. Just get out of there. While my upstairs neighbors make sounds like they're rolling around on the floor with like a club or something. <sighs> it's funny, like I know I know who they are, and they're like both fairly old and not really in good health. So I'm well aware that they're not really capable of doing the things that they seem to be doing when they make those noises, but there's like constantly loud banging from them. It's the weirdest thing. They should not be able to make noise that loud, but it's like they're not, they're always knocking something off a table, like something heavy. It's very strange. I should not have gone for that second shot, but it hit, so that's something. How's Philly doing? You're actually kind of okay. You're gonna have a heart attack from that artery blockage, but you're fine. One more, one more. No, that's that's not a hit, and I don't know where the fuck he's going now. Attacking the slate door. Really? You're gonna come over here and attack this thing? That's very strange. Alright, well, we'll wait for him to come through here. As he almost certainly will. Why have you not treated Shaper? Treat Shaper immediately. Shaper is bleeding like a motherfucker, and actually might die. I would have thought that that would be like the first thing you do here. It is your wife, after all. <laughs> like, if she dies, that's probably going to have a pretty significant impact on you here. Right, let's just finish this one off. Good shot. Good shot. Get through. What are you doing? Are you stupid? How are you not dead yet? Shaper, go back to bed. Okay. Please kill this thing, finally. There you go. And because we're technically in combat again, now it's like, well, now you can't go on fast speed. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Why are you missing so often? It's like maybe a 10% hit rate while standing directly next to the hive. This is actually unforgivable. Alright, well there's a shit ton of blood to clean up now, but that's, you know, that's life, right? Christian, what the fuck are you doing? He just, like, does not give a fuck about being a doctor.
Okay, good. Increasing the priority certainly helped, but that's kind of like... Almost let his wife bleed out. That's not good. Uh, gear, please drop your shotgun. Shaper, please pick up the shotgun. We are going to need that if that ever happens again. And someone, for the love of God, please clean everything up because this is totally fucking everything. But hey, we got meat out of it and our plants grew while we were distracted by that, so that's a plus. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This episode has been kind of chaotic, but hey, we survived an infestation for once, even though it was the easily the smallest one I've ever seen in my entire time playing this game. So like I said, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll join us for the next one as well. Take care.